Hey guys, welcome to ExoticCarHacks.com where we teach you how to buy, trade and sell exotic cars for fun and of course for profit. Uh, in today's video we're going to start taking a look at some of the cars that are appreciating the best uh, and are going to be appreciating the best in the next few years. Uh, these, these cars are going to be primarily focused on cars that are over $100,000 so unfortunately these are not affordable cars per se. They're going to be a little bit more expensive but are going to be some of the best investments you can make today to kind of not only enjoy your car, but make sure you can actually get out of it with a good profit in the future. There's a lot of exotic cars out there, but we've seen the market and we've seen some of these things that change or shift over time. And we've identified these cars as some of the best cars to purchase today and actually hold on to, even for years. The longer you hold on to them, the better off they'll get. Behind me, you'll actually see one of such cars, the SL65 Black Series uh, by MG Performance Studios. One of the rarest uh, Mercedes ever built in production with 175 units ever built in the United States. And a car that has seen its uh, lowest days going from the high 300k mark all the way down to the uh, low hundreds. Today the uh, 65 Black Series is a very rare car that's on the market for near 200 and has been holding steady for the past uh, year, year and a half. I don't see values going much down and I do see them trending upwards. The next car, and uh, a really good car to actually own, you must have guessed it, would be the Ford GT. The Ford GT, while the 2006 and 2005 edition, quite old to date. However, many examples on the market with very low miles and a car that has now gone up almost, I would say, 100% of its value in the past five years. Car originally depreciated down to the low hundreds and now again is back up to the 200 range and is holding very steady and prices are increasing. A more modern exotic that can actually still be financed and, and probably one of my favorite uh, da daily drivers in addition to also being a great car is once again by Mercedes, the Mercedes Gullwing SLS. Now this is only goes for the coupe uh, and for any model between 2011 and 2013. The SLS was a limited production run for Mercedes with Gull Wings on the coupe, not the Roadster, and has continuously seen prices increase on the used market in the past two years lowering as low as 98,000 at some point for a used SLS and now back up to the 150 range even in the wholesale market, making it an incredible car to pick up and hold on to, especially if you plan to drive a little bit, which those cars are found with low mileage, but being more modern makes a little bit more sense to drive them rather than a Ford GT or anything else. Uh, you can also look at cars like the McLaren SLR, uh, again, a, a car by the brand Mercedes. However, the McLaren SLR is a very unique car that not only has seen its lower days in the hundreds again, and now is back up in the in the high hundreds, low twos, and has done tremendously well as continuously gaining momentum as we keep going. With less and less great examples on the market, they continuously keep seeing uh, the rise up. So I would definitely look at those cars if you're uh, looking into cars that are going to be appreciating, spending money into, and then kind of holding on to. Uh, the, we do get a lot of questions about Moslers, Nobles, and some of these really rare race cars uh, that are one-off kit cars that are built for the for the street track kind of use and how they're doing. And personally, we're not very big fans of such cars, and so we recommend kind of sticking to the main manufacturer brands and special editions of such cars that are very sought after. I mean, these cars alone, the ones that I've mentioned, you're going to see a lot of common following and common value in, in kind of being in those. And then. You know, the SLS, which we talked about earlier, also has a Black Series edition similar to the 65 behind me, which is also extremely sought after and has gone up over 150,000 in the past year alone. So again, another incredible car to get your hands on and kind of keep. Cars like the Scuderia, the Scuderia from Ferrari, as well uh, uh, as the six-speed gated cars of the past, like the F430s, are actually appreciating as well. I mean, you'll find F430s with six-speed shifters in the 150s when their counterpart with F1s are in the 100s. And you'll also find the Scuderia's holding in the 200k range very strongly. Again, cars that are based on mileage, based on collector value, not so much driven cars with high miles as it no longer applies. So make sure that if you are making an investment in one of these fine automobiles, remember that the idea of mileage does matter. And while typically with our system at Exotic Car Hacks, you would look for a car that's been slightly driven, in this particular case, you want to look for a car that's had the least amount, uh, the least amount of miles put on. A last car I'll leave you with, uh, today is the Porsche GT2 and GT3 RS. Cars that have continuously appreciated, uh, in the past few years and with the GT2 being even rarer now than it's ever been and the GT3 RS just coming out with its latest form, the old GT3 RS still holding and continuously rising from the 150 range. Even a 4.2 super rare, uh, GT3 RS now selling upwards of 300k on the market. So an investment that again keeps giving back 
uh, and a great way or a great place to put your money since obviously savings accounts and earning that much these days. So highly recommended that you look at some of these cars if you have some cash and are ready to make an investment using the exoticcarhacks.com strategy. And make sure you continuously follow exoticcarhacks.com for an insider list where we find you some of these cars and actually bring them straight to your email so you don't have to think about what it costs, what you should pay as the margins on such cars increase significantly more over time. And so you'll see dealers listing these cars for 400, but it is not indicative of what the market should be. And so using something like exoticcarhacks.com's insider list enables you to negotiate better, get lower pricing, and no longer have to think what cars are on the market and which cars are worth pursuing. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you guys next time inside exoticcarhacks.com.